Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 21st of April. These are general readings, as they are always. Take it applies, if it applies, you know what to do the rest of it. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome! And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you get notification for all the new stuff that I put out there. And if you are returning, hey, I'm glad you're still here with me. Uh, also, every Wednesday I go live. So come uh, join me in a great bunch of peeps to do a look in on all the Zodiac signs as well as a random reading. 7 o'clock every Wednesday. Don't be a part of it. That's Eastern Standard Time. Uh, also, I'll be making my appearance um, May 8th in Stanford, Connecticut. At uh, my friend Tracy's Wellness Spa, her grand opening. She's got a lot of stuff planned. Um, she's a great person as well as a great he uh, healer. And her store is absolutely gorgeous. So, be in the Stanford area, May 8th, uh, 388 Summer Street. And uh, I'll be there doing cards. Okay, let's see what the randoms get to say today. Energies for today. Huh. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. Now, here's a messenger of something heartfelt, something sentimental. Could be the apology. Could be a compliment. But either somebody has declined an offer that comes from the heart, or someone's just not giving it. <laughs> hmm. Let's see what's going on with this energy here. Now, cups come from the water signs of uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, some sorry, not sorry. Get the three of swords in reverse. Somebody's coming out of heartbreak, some sort of disappointment here. And maybe they're not saying sorry anymore. You know, maybe it's, you know, I'm over it. I don't owe you anything. It also could be that maybe somebody's, you know, stopped waiting around for someone to give an apology that they clearly aren't going to give. They're over it. They're over it. Ooh, now we get the moon. Want to pop out. Lies, secrets, deception. Heightened intuition, deep consciousness. Fear, fear of the unknown. Hmm. There could have been a hidden factor here from someone, you know, why they wouldn't give it or say it or why they won't give somebody a compliment, you know, when, you know, when props are due. Hmm. Something definitely that's not on the surface. Wow. There's that queen of cups in reverse. Hmm. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who is water-like. Now, in the upright, they come off, you know, even keel, get it all together. You know, they get that poker face going on. Put it in reverse. This could be somebody who is, you know, their emotions are all over the place. Mad, sad, happy, glad, and 2.2. Hot and cold, maybe. Somebody could be indulging. You know... Trying to drink their sorrows away, maybe. And somebody just doesn't want to invest in that anymore. Now you get the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, too. Wow. They're all in reverse, except for the moon. I think somebody here is... done, you know, this with the sorries. You know, the more that somebody comes unraveled, the more, you know... Drama and all that stuff. The more someone's like, I don't want it. Hmm. And they're not going to give into this, you know, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family, however it applies. Maybe somebody's been pushed to the edge. Yep. You get the fool here. Because somebody wants to embark on something new. They want something new. And that's right under the page of cups. So it's like, it doesn't matter, you know, what this person says. Or doesn't say. It's probably more about the, what they don't say. But somebody's going to, you know, start something new. Go in a different, you know, avenue. 
in a different direction. I think somebody's had it. Yeah, get the high priestess here under the heartbreak. Little does somebody know how much damage they've done. The high priestess is a keeper of secrets. Did she tell everybody? No, she doesn't have to. But never underestimate the high priestess. She always knows a lot more than what she says. And if she's over it, you know, and she's just not advertising it, it's not for everyone to know. Except for this person who's just, you know, probably dancing on someone's last nerve. You get the two of pentacles under the moon. Now, this is the juggling act. You know, the should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I thing. Someone could be, you know, juggling two people, two jobs, two places, two situations. But it's right under the moon. And I almost feel like, does somebody want to know why this person's treating them like that? Or can they just walk away from it and says, I don't even want to know? Hmm. I think this person just knows that, you know, they're not feeding into it anymore. Not the temper tantrums. You know, the sorries that are, you know, come up empty. The apologies that mean nothing. Ooh. Under the Queen of Cups in reverse, you have the King of Swords. Ooh. Now here's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who is air-like. You know, they're both the facts to figures and numbers. Their emotions are in the back seat. You know, if you're playing or trying to pull on someone's heartstrings, it's not going to work with this person. Now, king, queen, don't matter, it's an energy. You know, facts, figures, numbers, because their emotions are in the back seat. And they don't like to play games. They're very straightforward. You know, maybe this person just, you know, gets that way when somebody's coming unraveled. You know, try to see the logic in, in something. Hmm. But then you get the Ten of Wands. This heavy load, this burden. That somebody's about to release. The Tens are always at the end of a cycle. A couple more steps, this person can release all the rods. And thus, the Fool. Start over at one. Bottom of the deck. Yep. There's the name of the game there, folks. The even exchange of generosity. The 50-50 deal. You always want to make sure that you are receiving as much as you're given. And I think somebody takes more than they give here. So let's get into it. Somebody is done accepting or apologizing or stroking someone's ego. This came to mind. Because they're coming out of heartbreak and disappointment. And the moon here put the lies, the secrets, deception. The things that are being hidden from someone can be a water-like person that's out of their element. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone takes on the water properties. In the reverse, you know, they're all over the place. You know, they're just an emotional mess. And somebody just not going to invest in that type of behavior. Or even if they're indulging, you know, they're not going to deal with it. I think somebody has been pushed to the edge because now they just want to break free from this. And internally, this person's good. This person's not hurt anymore. It's like the words or the actions can't hurt them anymore. They've seen it. They've done, you know, been there, done that. And I do think that somebody is contemplating, do I want to know why? Or will I just walk away from it? And someone could be a, an air-like person here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That is you no know, thinking anal analytical about this, very logically. The logic is that somebody is just more of a burden that puts it on them, and they're going to release themselves. They don't want to invest in this anymore because they want something that's more fair. <laughs> Maybe this person will get it. You get the six of uh, wands after. Overcoming a battle and being victorious. Coming back from a battle and being victorious. So let's break it down, folks. We get somebody who is not accepting or saying apologies or anything sentimental anymore because they want to break free. There's been some heartbreak of disappointment and this person knows 
It doesn't hurt anymore. And they're healed. And as far as the things that they can't see and the reasons why of the unknown, maybe someday they'll, they'll want to know. But that, I don't believe, is a factor right now. This could have something to do with a water-like person who may be indulging or just coming unraveled. It could be bipolar. And an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody air-like. That's just seeing this rationally and logically. They want better for themselves. Because they're not going to invest in this type of behavior, whether it's abusive and they're ready to drop all these burdens and start going after something that's more fair for them. Wow! So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. Don't forget about Wednesday, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, to come join me and a great bunch of peeps. And also about May 8th, come be at uh, Stanford, Connecticut. So till then, folks, take care.